Hey, you! Yeah, you! I have something exciting to share with you. I am going to be doing a Royal High Ursi competition. That's right, you guys. I want you all to create a brand new Ursi or original character in Royal High and submit it to me over on Twitter. Here's the details. All you have to do is create a brand new fresh Ursi using one of these sets in Royal High. It must contain at least one item that is from a set. It doesn't matter what set it is. It could be the arms. It could be the scare. It could be from any set that currently exists in the game, as well as one of the hairstyles that are custom and making sure you use one of the Royal High faces. Please do not use any UGC and make sure to earn the use things in the game. To submit your OCs to me, all you have to do is go over to Twitter and tweet at Bplays RBLX and type in hashtag Bplays OC competition. Make sure to use the hashtag so I can find them and make sure to tag me so I don't miss them. The winner of the competition that I choose who makes the most beautiful, innovative, and fancy OC will win a $20 Roblox gift card that you can use to buy premium, convert into Robux, or do whatever you may wish to within the Roblox platform. All you have to do to enter is the steps that I just shared with you guys, and the winner will be announced on the 31st of July. Good luck, little beans. Hey wonderful little bees, my name is V and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell. And of course, don't forget to use Stacker B when buying Robux or Premium. And of course, you can also use it when buying gift cards on the official Roblox Cash Star website. Thank you so much to everybody who's used my Stacker so far and to all of my amazing channel members. Now you guys, I am excited because this video today is going to be quite an interesting one I want to talk to you guys about. But one thing I do want to share with you guys is that I hope you are enjoying all of our editing right now. My editor has been working at their backside off for you guys to make these videos entertaining, popping up like emotes and shaky things and little drawings of me and things like that whenever my face cam's not on. But I promise I am aiming to get my face cam back to being consistent. I've just been so tired lately. And also we've been streaming a lot on Twitch and in every single stream on Twitch right now I am giving away Robux gift cards. So if you guys haven't followed me on Twitch yet, you are missing out on getting literally so many gift cards that I've been giving away. I'm giving away some today so you should come on by. Anyways, you guys, as many of you know, there was a recent update to Royal High that released a bunch of new reworks in the game. We had reworks and new toggles for the Dear Dolly heels, as well as various other reworks to different items. But there's one rework in question that I really want to focus on in this video and why I think it could indicate another update with more reworks might be coming. Yes, you guys, this is exciting. And even though I'm wearing an ugly pea dress, I'm still excited to share this news with you. It was my idea to make this video. Be, be just came along because her name's on the channel. It's really my idea. Dolly, stop trying to steal my ideas. I came up with this idea. I don't see you typing on the keyboard. You can't. You don't have fingers. Uh-huh. You want to keep testing me, B? You want to test me? Okay, maybe we don't want to get her angry. She's been tweeting kind of mean stuff lately, and she's been tweeting pictures of her and my little brother. I think she's turning him to hate me, you guys. It's not a very good idea. Anyways, more importantly, this is the item I want you guys to focus on real quick, first of all. This is the first part of the video. I want you guys to focus on the reworked version of the Sleep Mask by Salty Sheer. Why do I want you to focus on this and the new toggle that came out for it? Well, I have good reason for why I want you guys to focus on it. And here's the explanation. Why am I wearing the light healer? Where did that come from? I wasn't wearing the light healer, but what the heck? Anyways, I want you guys to mainly focus on this sleep mask. And the reason why I want you to focus on it is Salty Shia reworked it. And that may make you think, B, why are we focusing on that? Well, Salty Shia also reworked the magical enchantress skirt, but that's not in the game. So why is the sleep mask in the game, but the magical enchantress skirt isn't in the game? Why have all of these other reworks come out, including reworks by Salty Shia themselves, but not the new skirt. Well, you guys, I am personally wondering if maybe Barbie is actually working on implementing that skirt rework based on the fact that obviously right now we have had a lot of new things coming out over the last few weeks in terms of reworks for older items. I mean, with the Dear Dolly boots getting toggles and reworks and of course with the new reworks that have been coming out for the sleep mask and other items in the game, I think it's pretty clear that Barbie is aware of these and obviously Salty Shear will have had to submit the sleep mask rework to Barbie. 
be. And the fact that she's implemented it means she is paying attention to the implementations of various items that the developers have reworked. So in my opinion, that seems like a good chance for a Magical Enchantress rework to come soon. But I'm not done there, you guys. There's something else I want to point out to you. If we take the sleep mask off and we do actually go and get the Dear Dolly heels, which by the way, are much nicer now. Do you know what? Actually, I'm just going to put click on these first so I can grab the colours. Then we're going to get the Dear Dolly heels. And if we go ahead and put them on, I want to reuse the same colours that I'm wearing now. If we toggle these to nicer colours, because personally, in my opinion, I think they look so much nicer in the bare leg form. I think if you have them like this, they look so much nicer. Ribbons as well look really nice on there. I think this, in my opinion, is one of the nicest. They look a bit thin and tall for the outfit I'm currently wearing, for the dress that I'm wearing. But if you wear it with like a different dress, I feel like we could make it work. Let's go ahead and change the dress while we talk about it. So basically, what I am noticing, you guys, is when it comes to the reworks here for these legs, in a similar sort of idea, these reworked boots with the new toggles could also be indication that Barbie might actually implement the new fluttering butterfly rework by Matt Crystal. We know it's being worked on, you guys, so there's always a chance, and I wouldn't doubt that there's a good chance it could actually come. I mean, personally, I think there's always a chance these things might be implemented, and to be honest, you guys, I would really like to see it. This dress is such a weird shape, by the way, but there's something about it that I just really actually quite like. I feel like the arms are just a bit too thick for it, and that's why it doesn't work. So let me take the arms off, and we'll switch our arms. Now, obviously, we know the Fluttering Butterfly rework is not in the game yet. We know that's not being implemented yet. We know there's a lot of things that haven't been implemented yet, even though we know the developers who created them have obviously been working on those reworks. I personally wonder, you guys, if maybe we might actually get to see something like that soon. I have been thinking about this for a while, to be honest with you guys. I've been thinking quite a lot about whether or not Barbie might be working on adding those reworks in, since we know the developers have been working so hard on them. But the thing is, you guys, it's really hard because we just haven't had chance to get to see anything like this in a while. When it comes to reworks of old items, we've not seen the developers talk about them a whole lot, so we've not been quite sure whether or not they are still coming. But I think the fact that these have been reworked, so these beautiful heels, for example, have had a rework, are a pretty good indication that the developers are working on implementing new things that other devs have created. We know that a lot of devs like Salty Shear, Matt Crystal, etc. are sending rework versions in. We've seen things like the crown, of the, oh, what's it called? What's it called? There's a specific crown that I'm trying to think of. A tiara. Hey, what's it called? Uh, the one I always wear. Why have I forgotten what it's called? I'm so dumb. Hold, please hold. Mermaid Royalty. The Mermaid Royalty got reworked, you guys. We all know that. We've seen it a million times over now, the reworked version. So in my opinion, I think it could be pretty clear at this point that there's a good chance there's going to be a rework for other things. I mean, if the developers are sending them in and the, obviously, main devs like Barbie, etc. are implementing them, there's always a chance, in my opinion, that they could be coming. Obviously, it comes down to a lot of patience and having to wait for things, but personally, you guys, I think there's a really good chance. And honestly, I'm really looking Looking forward to that chance. I really, 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 really want to see those sets get reworked. And I'm starting to wonder if maybe the Magic Enchantress set is actually on the way sooner than we think. And maybe we're going to get to see, obviously, the beautiful Fluttering Butterfly set upgraded and reworked too. Now, obviously, you guys, we have to be patient. It's one of those things, yet again, where we have to just wait and see. I really would love to see it though, you guys. And I do think that the heel toggles and things like that that we've been having added really make a huge difference to the experience. They make it so beautiful. They make everything so much better. And I would really like to see the modernization of some of the older legacy skirts and things like that too, especially since Salty Shio has made it very clear they are willing to work on them. So personally, I do wonder if there's going to be another update out soon with even more reworks, and I'm really looking forward to it if there is. So the lovelies, let me know in the comments. Are you excited about that? Is that something you want to see? If you are, let me know. And of course, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and you stack a view and buying Robux or Premium. As always, it all means thank you so much for watching. If you do have a chance to, please do go and check out my roleplay channel and my vlog channel. I've been working really hard on them. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day, little beans. Goodbye.